Hi everyone, my name is Anish Gupta and in this video we will discuss how you should choose your college, what parameters to keep in mind while choosing a college and from where to get the information regarding these colleges. Also if you feel that you have scored less in your JE examination and other entrance exam then I have something to share with you in the middle of this video. So please watch the complete video so that you don't miss out on anything. Now let us start with the list of factors to be kept in mind while selecting a college. Now what I want you all to do is to make a priority order of this. I will just list the points and I want you all to make a priority order for yourself. So let us start with the list. So uh, number one is placements that uh, are placements important to you or not? Like are you uh, cared about that or you want to go into re research and not cared much about placements? Then we have college brand. Then we have branch. Is branch important to you and have you decided on your branch? That is also very important. Then we have campus. Do you care much about the facilities which are offered by the campus or you are just okay with your academics? Uh, then we have place where the college is located. Do you want to stay in a metro city only or you can go to a remote city also for a better college. Then we have NIRF ranking of course. NIRF rankings are they important to you or not? Then passion. You must be having something on the side. Uh, you, you might be good in debate. You might be good in dance or you might want to become an entrepreneur. Then you should go and look that whether the college you want to go in has the clubs or societies for these activities. Then we have year of establishment and this is a clear indication of how many alumni are out there from your college into the industry. Then we have future studies. Do you have any plans for future studies? Hostel facilities, are they really important to you or you want to go with a better college? And have you decided on a company that you want to work for or you do not care much about the company? Do you want to apply for government jobs or not? Are fests important to you? And of course the course structure that do you really enjoy the course structure and are you really particular about the course structure or are you just okay with whatever they teach or you just want a degree. Now NIRF ranking has different standards and they are more oriented toward the teaching research aspect and the placements aspect. So if your priorities are only placements and academic research these kinds of things then NIRF rankings are a good indication of that but it might be that there are more things or more factors which come into place. So that is why I suggest that make a priority list for yourself. I will display the list on the screen and what I want you to do is pause the video then and make a list for yourself, make a priority list for yourself and then proceed to the next part of this video. Okay. So here is the list on the screen right now. Pause the video right now and make a priority list for yourselves. Okay, now I'll tell you a little bit about how to choose your branch. Okay, so I have prepared a list of questions for you guys. If you answer those questions, so it will be easier for you to decide what branch you really want to go in. So starting with your academic interest, what are you interested in academically? What do you want to study? So now you have studied physics, chemistry and maths. Padha. So based on that, if you enjoy mathematics a lot, then CS, EC, mechanical, civil, these electrical, these all branches have a lot of mathematics involved in them. Then we have chemistry. If you like chemistry very much, then chemical, civil, biotech, these have a lot of chemistry involved in them. Then if you like the physics of 12th class, then you will like more the electrical part. And if you enjoy the physics of 11th class, then you might be more oriented to the mechanical and civil side. Also, one more very important aspect that you cannot really forget these days is if you do you enjoy coding or not. If you enjoy coding, then computer science, IIT, EC, these all branches involve a lot of coding in future. Now, talking from the perspective of where do you see yourself in future. So if you see yourself as a government employee, then electrical, mechanical, civil is for you. If you want to work in a private company, then computer science and EC has a lot of scope. Then if you want to pursue research, then you can go for electronics or you can go for chemi chemical, you can go for biotechnology as well. And what kind of job do you want? If you like a desk job, then computer science is for you. If you like field work, then mechanical or civil, mein, there will be a lot of field work. If you enjoy lab work, then lab mein electronics, biotechnology, chemical, these all will involve lab work and also you can go through the course structure if you are really confused about these branches you can and also one thing you might have noticed that uh, ec is a very broad branch here it invokes a lot of possibilities you can choose from you can go into software also you can stay in the core job also so if you are really not sure about what you want to do in future then you can also go with ec but 
keep in mind that EC is a very difficult and demanding branch. So you will need to focus on your academics th all throughout your four years. Okay, now talking about if your result result not good or if you have an advanced exam, it was not good. First, I will say that all these things are after. First, take a deep breath. Exams are finished. Now you have to think in a different domain. There is no use crying over what has already happened. Okay? Yes, it might be that you had a luck or something. In any exam, you didn't go. You wanted to perform well in JEE mains. You wanted to perform well in JEE advance. Maybe it won't be done. It is completely okay. At max, what can happen? Just think through it. If you once think through it, you will get that what has been lost is not so much. See, what will happen? Your friend will go to IITs. Suppose you don't go there. So what difference will that make? अगर वो बंदा IIT में भी जाके पढ़ाई वढ़ाई करना छोड़ दे, clubs वगैरह में जाना छोड़ दे, he does not utilize the resources there and instead आप जो है आप अपने college का maximum use करो जो भी आपके पास available है उसका max उसका output maximize करना है basically अगर वो आपने किया in चार साल तो at the end of four years आप में और उनमें ज़्यादा difference नहीं होगा so you have to put in effort in your college irrespective of whether you go into a good college or whether you go into bad college so you should focus more on that and also what is the best you can get what is the best college you can get you should be thinking about that right now rather than crying over what you could have got if you prepared well or now i am not saying ki iit is jane ka koi fayda nahi hai aise iit is jane ka fayda hai aur un logo ke liye hai for the people who come into iits and then work hard so they will be on a very different level but it doesn't mean ki aap log apna kuch decent career nahi bana sakti you can still make a decent career you have to do things on the side you have to put in more efforts you have to do things other than your academics you have you will have to apply to companies externally out of your college if those companies don't come to you and i'm telling you if you have the required skill set it doesn't matter from which college you are what degree you hold you will get the job that is how google takes interviews that is how amazon takes interviews that is how facebook takes interviews so now rather than crying about it, think with a peaceful mind, decide your priority orders, what is the best college you can get in, what will be the best environment that will suit your development. Okay, so now assuming that you are clear with your priority order, you are clear with your branch that what branch is your preference. Now I have made a flowchart for you guys and if you know all these things already which I told you in the previous section of this video, so it will be very easy for you to navigate through this flowchart and reach to the, to the perfect college which is for you. So the first question which needs to be answered right off the back is do you still want to do engineering or not see, see there is nothing wrong with go not doing engineering after taking pcm after taking after taking je examination there is nothing wrong with that in fact it is better that you convince your parents right now rather than wasting a one two three or four years what will happen at max is wo aap se ek din do din ek hafta gussa rahenge usse zyada nahi but that is still better than wasting your four years or in fact still waste better than wasting your even one year now assuming that you still want to do engineering and also there are many benefits to do engineering now the question is do you see yourself as an engineer in your 30s yeah when you're 30 years old 31 years old do you really see yourself as an engineer if you see yourself as someone else maybe you want to go for the civil services maybe you want to enter the management part maybe you want to start a startup or maybe you have your own passion, you might be good in debating, you might be good in dancing, you might be good in playing piano like I am. You might want to make YouTube videos like I make. So if you're interested in this side, uh, you don't see yourself in, as an engineer in your 30s, then this side is for you and you should go for good colleges over branch. Now for the other segment, reverse is true, they should focus more on their branch. It is for those people who want to do research or this want to continue with an engineering career or are also planning to do masters or PhD or maybe wanting to become a professor in this field. Now we have these two categories segregated. So let's talk about the first category which we started with that those who don't see themselves as engineers in their 30s. So you should take good colleges and by good colleges what do I mean? that you should go for old colleges yeah old colleges have a very good alumni base and it helps you especially when you want to go for something like a startup because there will be a lot of networking options and your seniors will be in the industry second thing is branded college now branded college helps you when, when you, you want to go into the management career because, because a branded college will have that impact over your 
resume and if you're in this category still and if you're preparing for civil services then you might want to stay close to a metro city where the coaching for civil services are available now i know that online coaching are still available for these things but still uh, many people prefer live classroom coaching uh, when we talk of civil services now talking of those people who want to go into research and want to pursue the engineering career very seriously so for them branch is important i already told you that especially for research and now since the nirf ranking they focus more on teaching learning placements they focus on these things so you can go with the nirf ranking so it is what you should go for is look for your branch and start and looking through the nirf rankings and uh, see for the best college you can get in your branch and also you guys should avoid private colleges except for the few very renowned ones like bits pilani or vit these colleges otherwise uh, other. you should prefer government colleges this was the part one of this video and in next video we will do the analysis of different engineering colleges different brands iits bits triple iits uh, different private colleges that we have we will do a complete analysis of those colleges right now what i want you to do is be clear with your priorities be clear with your branch take some time think about it be clear with your ambitions for your future you. and my new video will be out very soon now if you have watched the video this far and you really think that there was something useful in this video then please hit the like button and the subscribe button it helps me a lot and, and motivates me to create more videos like this for you guys also if you know someone who has just recently gone through je and, and they might be wondering about how to choose their college or co branch then share this video with them this will definitely benefit them if you have any questions please write down in the comment section now i'm also planning to do a video specially on this questions and answer where you, where you ask questions and i will answer them in a video but don't worry i'll still be active in the comment section i'll reply to your comments so feel free if ask. you have any ideas for the next video then tell me in the comment section now that is all from my side thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you next time bye bye